let's talk about the eyelet stitch that's built into the Husqvarna Viking Designer Brilliance 80. So it's actually stitch number A42, 42. And when you do pick it, you'll find it does recommend foot B. And usually with eyelets, you do want to have a little bit of stabilizer. But I'm going to stitch a little bit uh, just to show you what it looks like. Uh, you can use the start stop button on this feature. That's really easy. Or you can use your foot control because it just does one and then it actually stops, it locks, and it cuts all at once. I have often used an eyelet to even tie a quilt, you know, instead of doing hand ties. You could stitch this stitch through all the layers just inside every block. You could just move it to the next area and then stitch. Now, I actually pre-stitched this so I knew something was going to happen. Number one, without stabilizer, this little squishy fabric, I am not getting eyelets that are as they should be. It's going around but not connecting exactly where I want. And I want to show you this feature that we can balance an eyelet or balance a stitch that might be stitched on something where the fabric isn't nice and even or we're not using stabilizer or something. So down here is our balance option. So what you do, okay, so this is what it's going to turn out with, so don't look at that one. But this is the one that I actually just made. As you adjust it, you can adjust the forward and back feeding, and then for some stitches that have the side to side, this will be lit up if you needed to adjust a stitch kind of from its left to right feeding options. So what you actually do is you adjust this so that the picture on screen, see how I force the, the left side to be taller than the right? You make the picture on screen match the problem on the fabric. And then when you touch OK, you will have it will adjust for you and make the perfect eyelet every single time. So there's the lock. And now it has kind of adjusted its forward feeding with the back feeding. So it is perfect and an eyelet. So how do you actually open an eyelet? Um, what I usually do is just take my scissors or something sharp and then just push your way through it. Give it a little spin and before you know it, you have an opening. So if you're looking for something smaller than a buttonhole, eyelets are great. You can use them for other features as well. You can actually um, make them longer so they could be more oval-ish. Uh, they are their maximum width, so if you don't want it as wide, you could also narrow it down. Now, one thing I did notice is that when I touched the balance, uh, my stitches disappeared, so I'll touch that little uh, blue flag there to bring that back into position. So it looks like it pops it over once I actually activate the balance. So just know that this is always there just in case you need to adjust a stitch for the fabric. The variable is um, in the fabric, the fabric that you have chosen to stitch it on.